Legislators from the Forum of Parliaments of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region met the Senate Speaker of the Congolese government and they wanted to find out how they perceive especially the efforts that have been put in place to ensure that there is peace within the eastern part of DRC. However, he expressed concern that the efforts that are being undertaken are taking quite a longer time Yet the people in eastern DRC continue to suffer. There is still insecurity in that part of the country. And these efforts include one undertaken by the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, and then another one by the Angolan president, who is basically handling the issue to do with bilateral talks or engagements. Nunu Kumba is the speaker of the National Assembly of South Sudan, and she also doubles as the president of the forum. Yes, according to our findings, the peace process, uh, the, the two processes are going, but going very slow. And uh, we need to um, expedite the process of these two uh, mechanisms uh, to, to bring peace as soon as possible uh, to the people. But we give a strong recommendation for dialogue, uh, enhancement of dialogue because through dialogue we can be able to solve the problem. The eastern part of DRC, due to many conflicts, has left hundreds of people dead and thousands displaced, and many of them have even fled that part of eastern DRC to the neighboring countries to seek refuge. And Onyango Kakobo explains how the forum and other parliaments are intending to ensure that the efforts that are being undertaken to bring peace in that part of the country are going to be expedited. But one of the reasons why uh, the process has not been expedited. It's because of fi uh, financial resources, and I think those resources have to be mobilized, both within the Great Region and also with the partners, to make sure that the different stages of the peace process are handled on time. Because for it to work, you need they need to be facilitated, and you need to have funds ready to do that. How much do they need, and uh, for what? Of course. Uh, the facts that are needed are at different stages. First of all, when you engage in a peace process, you may have, you have to involve people like mediators. But even before that, before when you start now the issue of uh, disarmament, demobilization, and uh, community recovery, you have to go. It has to undergo processes. If you are to disarm those people, they are the negative forces. You have to undergo processes such as cantoning. You have to put them one first in one area, and then you discuss with them and agree how they will be demobilized. There's need for a sincere discussion or dialogue between them and also the rebel groups, considering that in the past there had never been a dialogue, especially between the government of Congo and the M23, where some of the rebel groups or the remnants of them were integrated within the national army. But sometime after that, they broke away and again engaged in another conflict within the same part of the region. One of the resolutions was to, uh, to sanction member parliaments who do not uh, abide by the commitment that, were, that are being made as part of the two processes which are ongoing, the Luanda process as well as the Nairobi process which are being led by heads of states. So we are here to support that. You don't know when war hits you. When we were in Juba, we didn't know that the situation in South Sudan, in Sudan, was going to be this worse. There were previous reports that the Congolese government was having reservations in terms of them engaging the M23 rebels, especially in terms of dialogue. The, 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 the authorities definitely, once we sit down with them, they, they, and they sit down with other groups, they will have to explain how it can be done, but. The, the president emphasized it yesterday when we met him and they are still committed to talking. Now what remains to be seen is how the facilitators of the peace processes that are being undertaken to bring peace in Eastern DRC are going to receive these messages or the calls that have been made by the Senate of the Congolese government and the president of the DRC. Sudil Biarohanga, NTV Kinshasa.